concierge project. So the concierge project is a very ambitious project with sort of the end goal, the very end goal being that Stanford scholars, the faculty and the students here at Stanford would know more about the vast resources that we have to offer and would use them more often, more effectively, more efficiently. All right, so it's a marketing thing, it's a service thing. Um, backing off from that, to get there, we need to make sure that all of you know more about the services and resources that we have to offer. And so that's what these training sessions are about, to equip everyone across the organization with a little more knowledge about all the different things that we do across, across Solaire. Um, so it's, again, it's an ambitious project. It's going to involve lots of sessions like this. It's going to involve lots of conversations on the coursework site and lots of material. Um, supplemental material for different topics um, and as we talk a little bit later about the specifics how it's going to work it's it involves some offshoots of what we do here centrally um, how many of you have ever used the services of a concierge so someone want to one of you want to tell me what a concierge is and what they do Excellent. They do. They know little tricks. That's excellent. Anyone else want to add to concierge? <laughs> Welcome back. Excellent. So hopefully, as folks are describing what a concierge does, it's starting to, uh, the, the metaphor is starting to make sense for the kinds of things that we in a library and academic computing services might want to do and provide to our patrons. Although I will say that since we've been talking about this, the term concierge has not been the most popular amongst our staff. Um, and some have offered other options for how to name this thing. Um, and I'm okay with that. We're going to call the project the concierge project because it kind of stuck eventually and we, you know, this isn't political, but sort of like the Republican primaries, we haven't been able to pick a good candidate yet. You know, no one, there's no front runner for a name yet. Um, but some other thing, some other ways to think about sort of what we're doing here and what our goals are in terms of the kinds of service we want to offer would be a coach. Um, certainly those of us who do reference and instruction, we think about that. We're not just going to provide everything like a concierge does and not also teach those tricks that we know to the patrons. So there's a coaching aspect in some interactions that we'll have with our patrons. Um, the term, someone offered the term Sherpa not because we're going to carry the load for the patrons, but because we know the way up the mountain. We've been there before and we're going to be alongside them showing them the path. Um, some other terms that have come up, uh, ambassador, um, what are some of the others that have been off? Some of you have been in those conversations. Or what other sort of metaphors for the kinds of service that we might want to provide? Yes, Ray. Champion. A champion. We want to be a champion for the patrons. Um, one of the big elements about the concierge is they don't send you to someone else to tell you how to get to the ATM, and another person is the opera ticket specialist, and you know, they actually champion all of your needs and bring all those resources to bear for you so you don't have to, you know, they don't refer you around to six different people. So a champion is another one. Um, my point being, we're gonna call this project the concierge project, but in any given interaction with a patron, uh, you may think of yourself as a concierge, as a coach, as a Sherpa if you want, a champion, whatever, whatever metaphor floats your boat, you can use it. Um, so please, I, you know, don't get too hang, hung up in the name. Okay, so we've talked about these a little bit, um, and these are actually on the coursework site. So our goals are to promulgate across the organization at, at, at pretty much every level in the organization this attitude 
about providing exceptional customer service and meeting the needs and recognizing that we have expertise to offer. So it's this, this attitude that we're trying to uh, provide, uh, a kind of service that we're trying to provide. To do that, we recognize we need to sort of equip and empower all of you to know more about this vast organization. Um, and ultimately, again, it's to increase the knowledge and use of our resources by our patrons, by the Stanford Scholars. Uh, let's see. So breaking those down a little bit, the concierge attitude, again, it's, it's one of exceptional customer service. It's one of expertise. It's one of championing the person. It's not sending them on a wild goose chase to this, even if they really do need six different pieces of the organization to accomplish their need. We won't send them to all six. We'll try and pull all six together for them in the best way that we can. We'll be an ambassador for Solaire in every situation. Um, and again, broad knowledge of the resources to do that. So we've got to equip you all to do that. Um, in equipping staff to do that, we had originally conceived of this project as being primarily aimed at at those who do frontline public services. Um, so subject specialists and academic technology specialists and reference librarians. Um, and it quickly became apparent as we talked about this project that staff members from across the organization would benefit from knowing more about each other and about the services. Um, and that in whatever interactions they might have, um, including maybe on the Marguerite, um, they would be better equipped to be an ambassador for us if they knew more about the organization and actually can do their behind the scenes job maybe better if they understood the big picture a little bit better. So that's a big part of what we're doing. Um, there are lots of questions that have already sort of bubbled up through the forums about different parts of the organization and some suggested topics that we would do in these monthly training sessions. Um, and that's in the forums. There's going to be supplemental materials. Both uh, my presentation and Christine's will be posted um, in the coursework site, uh, the next topic that we're going to cover is copyright issues. And there are already links to a couple of excellent copyright presentations um, in the materials section of the coursework site for those of you who want to study ahead. Um, the other thing is, again, as I mentioned, the relationship building is a part of equipping you all, um, is, is, is the relationship building. One more thing about the training sessions. We will, uh, the training sessions will be once a month. Um, the sign-ups will occur a month before. Um, we are committed to holding them in a room like this because we want to have as much interactivity as we can. Um, so we will have to hold at least three sessions. <laughs> sure, and I got in trouble for having my cell phone in my pocket. Okay. Um, it, we'll, 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 we'll throw as many of these sessions as we need to. Um, in this case, 